In this video, I'm going to roast this website, which was one that I built for my own web design agency when I first started. And I'm going to give myself 30 minutes to fix it. I'm going to stop talking right now. It's 303, as you can see up here. And I'm just going to first tell you what I don't like about this website, why I think it's a little bit weak, and you'll see me fixing it live as well. So let me preview this first of all, and I'll show you kind of like what that looks like right now. The first thing that you saw is that there's a lot of effects, and this is something that I see on a lot of high level websites, a lot of animations, things coming up and down the screen and just things that distract and rather than enhance the look of the website it makes it look fake or cheap in my case when i was outreaching to prospects and showing them my websites for them to book an appointment trust would go lower so at a first glance right here, this headline is very generic and it just says tailored web design and development for blah, 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 blah. I'm not being specific. I'm not talking about a problem that a prospect cares. So we're going to fix this here as well. This layout, I'm not a fan of right now. I see like there's some spacing here and, and even spacing throughout the site, which makes it look unfinished. For a prospect, depending on where you're bringing traffic, let's say it's colder traffic, they do not care who you are. In my case, I had a photo of myself right here. If it's one warm traffic like people you know or if you're doing content a photo of yourself might help but in my case let's say I am outreaching to landscapers in Miami this is not gonna cut it instead what I should do is have an image that shows an actual result a graphic to demonstrate what I actually do or have a visual representation of the benefits that I can provide for them on their business if I keep scrolling you see that here there's a lot of animations too much stuff going on by the way keep in mind that this was one of the first websites that I built for my web design agency so there's a lot of mistakes that I did in the past which I'm kind of going over in this video so that you don't make the same mistakes one thing that is good about here is that I did add company logos in this case I have generic logos but you have the idea there's no testimonials so that's something that I could have added as well let's say you're a beginner and you're asking the question right now I do not have any testimonials or I don't have any portfolio what you could do to still show prospects of what you're able to achieve for them is spend some time creating a website or a website portfolio where you could show your abilities have a few websites so that prospects can see what is it that I'm able to achieve and what my skill sets are. Show instead of tell. Now this section doesn't do anything at all. Again, the prospect does not care who I am. They only care about how is it that I can help them or what sort of benefit will they get if they choose to work with me. This is very long, very boring, and it doesn't talk about a specific problem. This is just saying very generic stuff and goes without saying, like, of course, you want to make sure that if you build a website, it looks good on desktop, on mobile and on tablet. So this really is not talking about any benefit benefits here it's the same thing a lot of text very boring I only have 20 minutes right now you see that it's 309 so let me just jump in and show you step by step what I would do in this case first of all what I would do right here is instead of having this I'm going to talk specifically about web design for landscapers so let me do that very quickly we bring more jobs for landscapers with web design that converts or with a website that shows number one on Google so this is definitely not perfect I would spend more time trying to make it better and see what would be better ways to convey my message right now I only have 20 minutes so I'm going to keep going and at the end you'll see what I'm actually able to come up with here instead of having this about myself which again the prospect does not care at all i'm gonna have a call out so in this case let's say i wanted to do landscapers in miami now this image is way too big so i'm gonna just get rid of that right now as you see i don't have the buttons that i would normally have right here so when this happens what i like to do is click on the section and in my case i had it so that the rows took the entire width of the section i'm gonna untoggle for now and then now that i can actually see this delete this right here i still can't delete this so what i would do is click this right here and then add some more margin so let's say 20 and now you see that i'm actually Actually able to select that delete this right here and now what I'm gonna do is center this just like this very quickly same with the button right here just like this so this is looking a lot better and now you see that I played around with the headline a little bit more this is a little bit more clear get more landscaping jobs for your business with a website that shows number one on Google I have 15 more minutes so let me just keep working through this right now the one thing that I see is that this call to action is very weak Let's connect means nothing to your prospects. Instead, what you could do is start getting more jobs or get started, or I want more jobs or something like that, that actually incentivizes them to scroll. And just think about it. Why would they want to connect with you? They just want the benefit. So now with this button, it's going to supplement in this right here. There's an outcome. And then here's like, show me how. And then when we click this button, we would then take them to a calendar or something where they can just book a call for this button. I want to make it so that the borders are a little bit more friendly. So what I would do is that for the border, 
border right here I would select full border make the color transparent and then for the border radius let's do 15 so that looks a little bit better I'm gonna duplicate this button and now that I have it here I'm gonna take it down and put it elsewhere so in this case I'm gonna put it here of course this is hard to read so what I would do is make it so that it's white and then for the text I would make it so that this is green so let me just click this very quickly something that i just noticed which i see in some high level websites is that there's sometimes uneven padding so in this case if i click on this column right here i see that i have 15 here but here i have 80 so let me just fix that so that it's 10 on both sides just like this now that's actually in the center. Something else that I noticed is that for this right here, I wanna make it so that there's an actual benefit as opposed to saying where I am. This doesn't matter to them at all. So let me just come up with something very quickly for this sub headline right here. Now, of course, this is not perfect, but this headline right here is a lot better. The next thing that I'm gonna do is get rid of all of those annoying effects. So let me just go ahead and click this right here. Let's make it so that any element that had animations, I'm gonna remove that right here. Something that I am gonna do now is add some sort of like social proof right here so let me do that very quickly and i'll add an image just like this and then let me look at an image right here add that image this is a bit too big so let's do 200 pixels that's still too big let's do 80 pixels for this headline let me add some more spacing so instead of 20 i'm gonna add a margin of 40 just to open up some more space right here and for this main section i do want to add some more space as well so let's do 140 just like this now for this section what i would do is i would make it so that these logos are presented in a cooler way so in my case i would use my notion doc and I would use tutorials 3.3 which is the moving carousel or 3.10 for a more interactive one but in this case I do not have enough time so let me just keep going right here I'm gonna get rid of this section right here one thing that I do want to add is a calendar on this page so even if a potential client or a landscaper has just finished scrolling the page I want there to be a calendar so that they don't even need to click anything and they can just book the call directly on the same page so let me just add this very quickly just like this add a one column row and then add a calendar i only have three minutes but i wanted to show you what i would do in just 30 minutes to make it so that this website would be a lot better the main issue that i see is that this font is also very hard to read so maybe that's something that i am going to change right now let's do roboto just for both i don't have time to pick any other fonts but that's always a good font to select now for this image i still haven't found an image and i only have two more minutes what I would do is select this right here. And now that's hard to read. So let me just click this and make it so that it's white as well. And let me play around with this copy. I have one more minute, so I'll just have to do what I can. The key is the more specific that you can describe a problem for your prospect, the more likely that they are going to be compelled to actually book a call. In this case, the button is, of course, hard to read. So I'll just change the background so that it's that dark green and the text so that it is white. All right, so it's 3.30. Let me just finish this paragraph right here and I'll break down both sides side by side and show you what I could do in the very limited time that I gave myself for this fun challenge. Now, the last thing that I would do is make it so that this is just like this, make this image a little bit bigger and then left align this button right here. All right, so it's 3.33. That is time. Let me show you both versions now and break down why this section, even though I only spent 30 minutes, might be a little bit more effective if we were to run traffic to both these landing pages. All right, so at a first glance, this headline right here shows me the benefit right away. Something cool that I added is this here just for social proof, which subconsciously, when we see something like this, we associate it with that company having a good rating or good quality or good service. Number one web design agency for landscaping business in Miami or in Florida. Here I set the stage with a pain point that this specific avatar that I'm going after might be facing. So in this case, it says start of losing leads to your competition. Get a website that actually gets you clients without wasting money on ads. All right, so let me scroll down here and you see that this is again supporting that initial claim that we had right here in this older website that I had. This about me section didn't speak to them at all. And if I keep scrolling, this is very text heavy. Nothing really stands out at all. In this new website i'm leading with a question like this struggling to get clients each month predictably without having to waste money on ads that bring you bad leads so again being very specific and then adding this right here kind of to illustrate the point that I'm trying to make. In this paragraph, I explain a little bit more what the problem is and then finish off with a call to action right here. Now, of course, I only gave myself 30 minutes for this 
challenge or for this video but what i would do is play around with the copy a bit more with the layout with the graphics which is why i didn't get a chance to change this right here which with more time i would have talked about specific things that i could help the prospect with but at the same time what i did is that i added a calendar on this page so even if a prospect does finish scrolling they get to a calendar without having to click any buttons which is something that i didn't have on this previous page right here i just finished with this very boring text heavy section anyways that is the end of this video i hope you found it valuable now if you're a business that has a website on high level and you want to take it to the next level but you don't have any coding experience i have this notion doc it has all of my tutorials exclusive videos it is the resource that i use every single day to build better websites that stand out that beat the competition so if you're interested click the link in the description and get access to my notion doc